I was a sign of contradiction to my family members. We were a really poor family. We could not even think of going to school at that time. We had a quarrel with my father after mass. Yes, he wanted all the property to be taken by him. He said, no, I'm a religious. We leave this in the hands of the congregation and the local Christians. My father and also my mother, they were all Muslims, except my uncle, who was baptized you know, in Mozambique, another country. Uh, at the age of uh, six, my mother died. Uh, but I hear that she asked for baptism, so she was baptized when she was very sick. I was brought here by my uncle to the parish priest, Father Emilio Noza. He welcomed me. He taught me you know, to be at the parish. He gave me everything. He was taking us, not only me, us as young boys, to go to the villages, to the poor families, and would greet them and sit with them. That gave me also another uh, idea, another desire to become like him. When I asked to join uh, the priest to be religious, that I had to go to ask my father. So my uncle took me to where my father was. My father shouted at me and he said that I'm in hell. I got ordained on the 3rd of August, 1996. I invited again my father. No, 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 he said, no, I don't want to hear about that. But I said, now I want to, to celebrate Mass at home, where there were only 20 Catholics. There was a campaign against the Mass. Miraculously, that day, all those chiefs, everybody, every Muslim was there. I asked myself, what is it that I can do to make them realize that if Jesus said no, you can exercise, you can practice your faith freely, you are not supposed to be forced. Pope John Paul II asked me to become the bishop in Zoba Diocese. After the celebration, my father, an imam, a preacher in Islam, came and knelt in front of me with all the people around and said, my son, I need baptism. 